Hello, Penny Pickers. My name is Dayhan, and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the best penny stocks to buy right now, five tech stocks to watch for the month of February. So five tech penny stocks on our list. Let's dive on in and check them on out, guys. So the first penny stock on our list is going to be Synodim Corp. So this one with a gain of about 23% on February 3rd, CIDM stock is once again on our radar. Now, the company is in the entertainment industry. Specifically, it offers premium content and streaming solutions for its customers. Last week, traders were heavily focused on the entertainment stocks for both the purpose of the nostalgia and the potential of them being the undervalued like AMC. While the Rona has meant uh, zero attendance at the movie theaters, streaming has recently been the hot ticket. Now, while the rally behind AMC can explain the, the recent bullish momentum with uh, CIDM, the company also announced on February 3rd, potentially leading to the latest spike. During the pre-market, Synodim announced a 7 million uh, registered direct offering. The company should have access to some much needed funding for the near term. Obviously, investors should consider the potential effects of the share dilution that often comes with the offerings. But considering that how the market has reacted so far, CIDM seems to be in the limelight for now. So if we take a look at this one, it's going to be ticker symbol CIDM Synodim Corp. It was down about 4.8% on Friday at the close. And it was, you know, trading at $1.78. So if we look at the one-year chart right here, support level. So we've been trading at here right here for about two or three months at around 50 cents level. After that, we saw a little bit of a volume spike of about 95 million, then over 100 million shares traded. The stock continued to run up. And then the beginning of January, this one definitely started to push up more as volume continued to pick up in the past month or so. We see right here, Currently, we're trading around 30, 35 million shares almost every single day with volume. We've seen a spike from about 83 cents to about that $1.87 high. So that's about, you know, over 100% gain right there in a matter of about two weeks. So this one could definitely continue to run. Now, what we're going to be doing right now is watching this one for a potential run up. If this one can uh, get to this $3 resistance and continue to pop and make higher highs. Now, it did actually have a high here on 6-4-2020 of about $6 per share. Obviously, it was way overbought right there, and it had a huge sell-off. As, as you can see there, for a few months, it sold off back to this support level. But this one, we're going to give it a price target of $3 per share for 2021 to see what's going to happen with potential in the near future. As always, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for viewing my video. So go ahead and smash that like button. Let's aim for 300 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up. We just hit 17,000 subscribers. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. Leave a comment below. What penny stocks are you buying right now? And also, if you guys want to sign up for Weeble, links in the description. Get your four free stocks when you sign up today. All right, guys, the second tech penny stock is going to be Infinity Pharmaceuticals, Inc. So tech in our case isn't just limited to the IT. We're also considering biotech. One of the, one of the more interesting penny stocks right now is Infinity Bar Pharmaceuticals, Inc. The company produces a large range of compounds for use in the treatment of cancer. And its pipelines are drugs such as the IPI-5549, which is an orally administered candidate currently in a phase 1-1B trial to treat cancer. Additionally, Infinity is working with several other companies such as uh, Verastem Inc., which is a ticker symbol VSTM on the NASDAQ, for the commercialization of the other novel substances. A few weeks ago, the company announced an upgrade regarding the Phase 2 study of adding genelisib to nivolumab in those with uh, uterine cancer. Now, uh, the CEO of Infinity states that the Mario-275 study provided Infinity with important insights to shape the future of the edgeslin in uterine cancer. The data from the 49 patients enrolled in the study are very encouraging. We look forward to presenting our data from the Mario-275, which supports our clinical strategy at a major medical meeting in Q1 2021, which details for our new planned trial to follow. Now, in a later announcement, the company stated that it would be presenting the data at the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO, on February 11th. With the recent developments, it's also worth mentioning another interesting bit of information. The company's co-founder, Dr. Eric Lander, was appointed as Presidential Science Advisor and Director of the Office of Science and Technology Policy for the Biden Administration. So this one, ticker symbol INFI, it was up about 6.5% on Friday at the close, currently trading at the $3.93 level. As we can see, this one's been doing great. It was at a support level at around $0.90 cents area in the beginning of 2020. Then we hit a new support level around this $1 area, and then we saw towards the end of 2020, this stock continued to pick up as volume continued to actually you know, trend on up. 
First, we were trading around 100, 200,000 shares. Then we started to trade, you know, a few million shares every single day, hitting actually here a few highs of about 9 million shares, almost 10 million shares on certain days. We went from about a dollar all the way up here to highs of $4.35, so over a 300% gain just in a matter of about two months. After that overbought level, we saw it come back down to about $3.20. The stock, you know, consolidated right there. And then we see an uptrend continuing. Now, what we're going to be looking forward to is for volume to continue to pick up. If volume continues to pick up, we can break through this resistance. You know, the previous high, the 52-week high at $4.35. If it breaks through that, it can continue to run. We're going to give this one a price target of $5 per share. Let's see what happens in the long term and the short term. The third tech penny stock on our list is going to be Boxlight Corp. So this one right here, during trading, shares of BOXL stock shot up as much as 14% ending the day at $2.50. Now, this is a tech business with a heavy focus on the education industry. This includes a large range of products such as the flat panel displays, touch projectors, document cameras, and more. With the pandemic in full swing, education from home has become the norm. This means that the need for digital learning tools is higher than ever before. With this, Boxlight Corp has uh, seen vastly heightened popularity in the past year or so. One thing to keep in mind is that BOXL stock is quite volatile. So it can, you know, the price can fluctuate very, very quickly up or down. Obviously, Boxlight Core has a lot of uh, benefits from its pandemic continues to lead to more online education. The company depends highly on large contracts made with the school boards around the country. Currently, it is in a pilot program for its Clever Touch product in a Kentucky school district. It also announced last month that it integrated its My STEM Kits curriculum for elementary students in Merritt Island, Florida. The curriculum is a collection of lessons and activities designed for use with things like 3D printers and other Mimeo STEM solutions offered by the company. Whether or not the future events lead to a bullish interest in boxl stock remains to be seen boxl could be a penny stock to watch on our list so this one ticker symbol boxl box like corporation it was up about 1.5 percent on friday at the close trading at two dollars and 58 cents as we can see as the rona continued to boom last year in 2020 this one had some huge you know gains went all the way to highs of four dollars 65 cents over a 300% gainer right there in a matter of about a week or so. Then we saw, you know, it was overbought. We saw some sell-off going on. We created a support level at the previous resistance level. And this is something we talk about, you know, day in and day out. So previous resistance levels become future support levels if they continue to boom like this. So we see the support level at $1.46. What do we see here? At around $1.20 and up here about $1.20, $1.30, we see that's where the previous resistance area was where we broke back down. So this is going to be our support area around $1.30. We saw that towards the end of 2020. And then in the beginning of 2021, volume continued to pick up. And we hit highs here by $2.87. So, you know, about a $1 gain, $1.20. Volume is very, very low with this stock, actually, or, you know, compared to what it could be. It trades between 2 million and 10 million shares almost every single day. Now, with this one, we're going to give it a price target of $4. If it can break through that $4 price target right there, the resistance area, it can boom on up and continue to make new highs 52 week highs so if it breaks through that resistance it can definitely continue to run all the way to five dollars or higher especially with the volume push and if the pandemic continues to roar we're definitely going to be seeing some uh you know potential uh earnings and great news from this company the fourth tech penny stock on our list is going to be Borks Technologies Inc. Now with Borks Technology, this company has been signing numerous deals over the last few months. This includes a deal for a corporation with the Huzo Suitai new, new area for a 5G industrial park project. Furthermore, Borks and Skycentrics previously announced plans for a JV to manufacture and deliver CTA-2045 technology-based products. These are for utility-scale automated smart controls. While there haven't been any recent headlines, BRQS stock has continued trending. One of the things we see is that telecommunication stocks are catching some attention. NOK, for example, was one of the stocks wrapping up in the R Wall Street bets short squeeze conversation. This may have given some exposure to 5G stocks in general, regardless of the facts. BRQS stock has pushed higher this month and let's take a look. So this one right here is going to be ticker symbol BRQS. It was down about five and a half percent on Friday at the close trading at $1.55 per share. This one right here has been pretty much trading at the same price for the, you know, the past 12 months. So 
trading at this support level of one dollar has been sticking there it didn't break through and you know continue to fall down like a falling knife so that is a good thing it continued to stay up made a few pops but then continue to come straight back down so we're going to be looking forward to with this one is volume we need more volume to pick up and more momentum if we can get more volume and more momentum we need it to break through this three dollar area before we can pop so we have about uh, 90 95 percent gains before we see some you know decent uh gains coming in and some more volume so what we need to see with this one is some more data some more news to come out in the next few weeks or in the next few months if we can do that and push up some more volume with maybe 40 50 million shares traded in a day we can see a pop now we definitely need to break through that three dollar area so we're going to give this one a price target of three dollars per share if it can break through that three dollar area we can continue all the way to four dollars and you know so on after that so this one we're going to give it a three dollar price target like we said and last but not least the fifth tech penny stock is going to be rs medical holdings inc so this one right here this year has been strong for many penny stocks obviously biotechnology has been a core focus rs medical is one that has benefited during the last few months from heightened interest surrounding its am-301 treatment this is RS candidate for protecting against the SARS-CoV-2 infections. In December, data release showed up to a 99.4% reduction of viral titter in human epithelial cell culture. RS said that it looks to advance the program towards submission of regulatory applications this year. The company also began its clinical investigation of the treatment in allergenic retinitis patients. This is something that we've seen a lot over the last year. Companies will see multiple purpose opportunities in their pipeline treatments. In this case, RSAM-301 was designed as a combatant against airborne viruses and allergens. According to the company, after applications into the nose, it creates a protective layer on the nasal mucosa so you could see how it may protect against any airborne viruses close to someone. Now, needless to say, with multiple applications, the AM-301 development could be something to follow in the you know next few months. So this one, ticker symbol E-A-R-S, so ears, uh, it was down about 2% on Friday, trading at $3.06 at the close. We see right here, it was at a support level pretty much for the whole 2020 at around $0.85, cents, $0.80. Cents. Then we saw this huge pop right here. Uh, in the beginning of December, it went from one dollar all the way to highs of about six dollars sixty cents. So over a five hundred percent gain just in a matter of that day right there on some news. Obviously, it was way overbought, and that's what happened. So, so with penny stocks, guys, you have to be very careful. If you see a penny stock pop like that, you know, huge gain in a matter of a, a day or two, it's going to be overbought. It's going to come back down a little bit, pull back down. We've seen that day in and day out. So tick, let me give you an example. Atosa. We've talked about Atosa Therapeutics many, many times in the past few weeks. We've seen it go from $2 to $3. We all, you know, talked about it. Obviously, it was overbought, pulled back down to about the two dollar and ten cents area. Then we saw had some news come out. The stock went up over up to about four dollars per share. And then what do we see in the past few days? The stock pulled back down a little bit. We're probably going to continue to consolidate around the three dollars fifty cents area with Atosa, and then we're going to see another pop on up hopefully breaking through that previous resistance. So the same thing with this one. We saw it was overbought here around $6.60, pulled back down. It still, you know, made gains of about 150% there at trading at around $2.78. This was our next support level. We had a support level here. The stock consolidated around this area. Volume was less than a million shares every single day almost. So volume is very low. And, you know, on that jump, it had over 300 million shares uh, traded. So volume is definitely a big key player in this stock. As you, you see the consolidation right here, now what we're going to be looking for is to break through this $4 resistance at first. If it can break through the $4, then we have that gap all the way to $6 to see. We're going to personally give this one a price target of $4.50 for the next few months as it has all these drugs, you know, news potentially coming out. Uh, as long as one of them is good, that is going to be a good sign for us investors. So so this is definitely one to keep on your radar for the next few months and to see what the progress is with these, uh, you know, phases that it has and the drugs that it has in its pipeline. So definitely keep an eye out on it. We have a price target of $4.50 on ears. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this stock. As always, guys, these five tech penny stocks are just for educational purposes. This is not financial advice. If you guys want some financial advice, you better talk to your financial advisor because I am not a financial advisor. So before doing any type of investing, you should do your own due diligence, do your own research on penny stocks, do some paper trading on Webull. Links in the description. Get your four free stocks when you sign up today with Webull. Do some paper trading on there with some fake money. Get your feet wet. Learn how to you know trade, especially with these penny stocks because they're very, very volatile. 
prices can boom on up or rocket on down in a matter of minutes on bad news or good news. So that's something to watch out with these. So before you guys do that, make sure you do your own uh, studies. As always, guys, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Leave a comment below what penny stocks are you going to be looking at next week and what penny stocks have you been trading. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.